Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Where today, if I can wake up, there we are. Where today we are gonna go. Uh, this episode will be also a day out with Jasmine because that's happening tomorrow. But um, for today, for today, we are gonna go see Fang with our Mapu, Mapo Tofu. And hopefully he's going to very much enjoy that. So, um, canvas for unsure. I really hope we've got enough plastic wrap for that. If we don't, I'll go get some from the desert. Oh, I've already got too many commissions. What? Guess we better hand some commissions in then. Hey, Owen. Loom is loom part-time work, eh? Hello. Any recipes? Uh, yeah. Steamed sweet potato, <laughs> sure. Right, and part time work for the Blue uh -huh. Moon Saloon. Yep. It gives you 20 uh -huh. sandworm every time. So good. Right, so what is he wanting? Is it sand carp or is it sand akudas this time? It is sand carp today. Alright then. And we also have some mushrooms ready today. Uh, I need to do a little bit more planting, I feel. I have straw gridded everything in. Oh, I see. Are these the fertilised ones with the sort of funny looking tops on them? That's interesting, huh? And most of this is really close to level 3 if it's not level 3. Which is very nice, indeed. Anyway. We have commissions to hand in, clearly. Although I can only see one on my radar, but uh, never mind. Oh yeah, I took one right at the end of the the night, didn't I? For giving you some sand leaks, because I have like 500 of them, so I may as well. It's a very easy way of getting some money. <laughs> for something I just have laying about. Right, um, so what else have we got in the way of commissions that is holding us up? We need two plastic pipes. Uh, the iron grates will need to be picked up. And the frying pans need to be made. Okay. I will pick up. I will go and I will pick up the great sword. I will go and see if I can make some plastic pipes somewhere. Sure, I can. Oh no, look, I already did. Because I'm clever. I made a copper pipe for some reason. I think that's for making a filtration port. Oh yeah, I need the... Oh, okay, that's fine. Still need the bit of um, fibre mesh for that, but that's okay. Tempered glass is all done. And the chromium is done. So we're doing well for that. We just need to go out to Gecko and get a couple of compact motors and a bit of fibre mesh and we're done. Oh, 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 nearly forgot. Great sword, should be ready. And then I can make frying pans. Because apparently frying pans are weapons in uh, Sandrock. Looks like I'm going to need to make some more bronze as well. Because we definitely don't have much of that going on. What do I need bronze for anyway? I need 15 for the desert stall. The desert stall I'm not worried about making quite yet. I'll get there when I get there. How much things like steel have I got? Steel bars. Yeah, we can make a few of those as well. Okay. So let's go see Fang, Pen, and maybe Mabel. But I do need to come back for things for Mabel as well.
pickles. I didn't make her frying pans yet. Any recipes for me? Sweet potato pie. No, don't teach it to me next time. Teach it to me this time. Thank you. Uh, maybe I have to be better friends with her to learn all these awesome recipes. Okay. Let's go see Fang next. I'm assuming Fang is around here somewhere. I should probably just track the quest though, shouldn't I? Because that would definitely help. Right, fragrant. Yeah, Fang is in. Perfect. Mr. Mystery Man. birthday my sweetheart wow mapo tofu he talked pretty well back then interestingly enough that was sad. He looks really smells sad. familiar what is it um a delicious dish i want to try it how much? I'll pay. It's free. Here you go. I insist. Okay, you pay then. <laughs> Here. Mother used to make this long ago. Oh, That's so sweet. I want to give you both opals. Come back here. No, really, come back here. You ran away really fast. Is it with these guys? Honestly. You didn't like the gold yesterday, I so here's an opal. It. I like it. Oh no, now X is back on the blinking shoulder again. Okay, fine. X was okay for a little while. This is, I'm imagining this is the reason why you get an extra 200 points for doing X's, like, um, thing. Yeah. Doing X's quest. Because seriously. So Fang is a really good buddy now. I've never had Fang this high before. It's really, really cool. Okay, let's find Pen, wherever Pen is. I'm keeping Trudy and Jasmine's big day out just tracked because it's time sensitive, so I just want to be a bit careful about that. Uh, obviously, I will keep checking on the commissions anyway, that's fine. 15 hours on getting the fish. Waiting for that, waiting for that. I can do that one and I can do that one. Okay. I can say the telescope is just something, as I say, I'm just keeping it because I can. Um, ah. It needs to be perfect. It needs to be a perfect greatsword. Right, okay, I'll, hand, I'll head back and I'll grab Mabel's one as well and maybe I'll do the sand fishing on the way, actually. And it's the winter sol- Oh, no! It's Jasmine's day out and the winter solstice on the same day? Eef. irritating I hope that that just like allows me to do it and doesn't mess about right so t it doesn't start until two o'clock when we do the barbecue um so I am hoping it won't just take the day off me it'll just be some sort of little cutscene in the morning and that I can still then do the uh barbecue the bonfire dance and the fireworks Fingers crossed. Who in spring has a birthday? Rocky and Owen are on the second day of spring, so they'll be next episode. Poco on the eighth of spring. Hmm, that'll be useful. And then we've got the showdown. 
and the day of the bright sun to do. And then and then we've done like a whole year in game. Amazing, isn't it? Considering it's been what three, four weeks since it. <laughs> it's been less than a month since it was out, and I'm already through like nearly the first year. I think I'm doing quite well for that. I'm gonna pick up the steel daggers for Grace and the canvas for Unsure. I don't know how many it'll let me do. And the... Oh, I'm going to check the... No, still bad. How many coffee beans I got? Just enough for Zeke. Too many commissions though. Okay, fine. So I need to refine up this uh, weapon. Which I'm not going to be able to do in an ore refinery. This machine has reached the max level. Okay, so it's just a few bloodstones. Nice, not too bad at all. Talking about bloodstones, I really should start the ore refinery going so that I can get bloodstones without having to dig them up. But I only need three, so it shouldn't take me a minute to do that. Especially with this big fat upgraded pick hammer I have nowadays. Did I get three or did I just get two? Did I just get two and start running back? Yeah, of course I did. Because that's smart. Okay, now I have enough. I got, oh, now I get a bonus one. Typical. Only when I do not need it. So... One wrong machine, wrong machine, wrong machine. <laughs> there we are. Perfect great sword, so that'll be perfect for pen. And in a minute I'll have that frying pan. Is there anything else I need to do around here in the meantime? Just trying to have a look, so no. Oh, I could try and start making the desert stall actually. Oh, that must be a, a assembly table thing then. Desert stall. Yes, it is indeed. Hardwood sticks. I don't have enough. Rough cloth, I do. Is that it? That was all I needed. <laughs> so we need to go get some hardwood. So we could definitely, definitely do that. Yeah, I'm super happy to have Fang's storyline now. It's so good. Someone has told me in the comments to give Fang a heart knot at some point. So I'll try and do that. They said it doesn't... They said I will be saving before I do it. Because I never completely trust um, things like that. But they have said, and I, I'll take them at their word, but with the safety of the save, um, that giving a heart knot doesn't do anything like propose or anything like that so i'll see <laughs> i'll see how that goes that's what i've been told hopefully i'll just get one more hopefully this should be enough make a few hardwood sticks and things should, i should get the rubber scrap while i'm down here shouldn't i i there's never a time I don't need that, right? Even if I don't put it into the processes right away, at least I'll have the scrap there. Right, so... make those hardwood sticks. Three, I've got more more than that as well, which is nice. And copper plates. For what? For what? For why?
Ah, oh, okay. I already had the stuff I needed. Okay. And three hardwood sticks, and we're all done. Lovely. And the other thing I need to make is some, like, rice cake things, I think. And I needed sugar for them, if I remember rightly. Sand rice cakes. How many I need? Just one? Yeah. Okay. I need one piece of sugar then. I'll probably get more than that and I can store some. Then I shall send my pets out for the for their time. And then I'll go and maybe get some more data disks or something along those lines, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just get a load of that. It's always good to have lots of soy sauce, sugar, and salt. So when I need some, I just get the full stack. And then next time I need it, I won't. I'll just have it there. It'll just be ready for me. And I'll be like, thank you, past Chila, for doing this. That's a sand rice cake. So getting all of that together and ready. I don't want to hand it in though until after the 28th because that seems like a, a very busy day already and if it's like thanks tomorrow we'll have the I'll be like oh no oh no so we're not handing it in yet but we're getting it all ready and then I can hand it in like on the 28th or 29th or something yeah sand rice cakes are done the hardwood sticks are on their way I think the frying pans are done I've got two commissions I can hand in. And then we need to go mining. For data disks and pieces of statues. Oh, you know what I need to do as well? Open those relics. Those relic bags still need to be opened and they have not been opened yet. I sat in my inventory looking all, looking all nice. But they need to be opened. Uh -huh. There you are. I don't know what you needed it for. Only you know that, Pen. But yeah, as long as Pen wants weapons, I'll be able to get him to like me quite a lot. Quite quickly, hopefully. So Pen is up at, like, very close to friend status. So I really want to max out... Um, his friendship, I want to max out Jan's friendship and Matilda's friendship pretty soon if I can. And those of you that know why will know why. Those of you that don't won't want the spoiler. Okay. Did I get Mabel's frying pans to her? I don't think I did, did I? No. Silly. I'll just jump on Burgess's head for a bit. Okay, nice. So that's all of them done. That's all of them finished up for the day. Thank you. Mabel will be my best friend soon as well. My goodness. I also haven't put an ad up on the board in ages. I feel like that might be a good thing to do. Right, have you two both gone out digging today? You have not. You have not either. Wow, okay. They're off for a dig then. So I'm at the moment making daggers for Grace, I think. Or I want to be. Switch boards, steel bars and bloodstone cores. 11 sand rice cakes for Vivi. Coffee beans I can take. Sand rice cakes I can take. Let's do those. Like I say, I want to do more of the, the planty ones, the, those sorts of commissions, because that would be good. How many did she want? Like, 11?
but I already have one, so I can make another one later, actually. That's fine. Um, got the coffee. I need the canvas, and I need the daggers. So the daggers I don't even have the recipe for. Wonderful. <laughs> but I'm going to need tanned leather for it. And a manganese bar, so... How many tanned leather? Four. Oh, I best get out to the desert and start getting some more coarse, some more coarse leather. Then, hadn't I? From monsters. Yes. Okay. Fine. Any other quests today? Anywhere else? No, I don't think we have. I think we're finally sort of getting through them a bit. Um, I find if I, it, and this is a good tip actually, if you do start getting really overwhelmed with side quests, a way to slow it down is to like not take forward the main quest. Because if you have the main quest, then that's just gonna that's just gonna make everything crazy. That's just gonna if you push that forward too fast, you just all the side quests are gonna pop up. Especially if you've been doing a lot of friendship with people. All their friendship, you, you'll finish a main story objective and all the friendship quests will pop up. So you just want to be really careful that you sort of try and do everything in between that you can. So just hand these coffee beans into Zeke. I'm doing so much better with Zeke as well. I used to just ignore these quests. And they're so useful for people like him who don't give other commissions. Oh. I have a chat actually. Uh -huh. My ideal world would be one without fighting, but it seems I can't find too many people who share that opinion. See ya. Well, you fought the Gigglers, you know how to fight. Okay, I've got points to spend. What shall I spend them on? Combat. Hmm. Toughness, endurance, or. Strong attack. Mm. Uh, an extra break I think would be great. When refining weapons, gain a chance of receiving a special effect. That might be really good. But also the long range weapon stuff is going to be really good as well. So I'll take all of the long range weapon stuff. All of these three. Then I'll probably take... Um, I don't tend to use dag as much. I'll probably then take um, Heavy Sword as well. Mm. So we could have better fuel consumption. We could have machine production speed increase. That's all useful, super useful. Uh, workshop knowledge from assembly station and inspection time. No, don't need that. I don't need to do inspections anymore. Um, selling price of livestock. I don't intend to sell my livestock. Mineral filtrator resources decreased by one. 3% chance for the ore refinery and recycler. Oh, okay. So both of them. To provide additional output. Oh, so you can get extra stuff out of your refiners and your ore. Uh, recyclers and ore refiners. That sounds really good. Machine production speed by 10% is really good. Less fuel is really good. I think I'm going to go with fuel. No. I'm going to go with fuel for now. But there's a lot of other things that I want to get here. Um, and then eventually I might go for like things like ha how many floors on the house. But how many how many sets of stairs do you actually want to go up? You know? You've already got something like three floors that you can do before you have to start taking these. Okay, good stuff. Now, I've probably got time to dig around in the mines for a little bit and just see if I can find that last piece of a statue. And a few data disks on the way as well. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. as the crow flies as X flies 
I don't have much time, but I've got a lot of um, stamina that I haven't used today, so it may as well. Level 11, and let's see what we can find. And probably, um, at some probably next episode now because I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Oh no, I don't think it reset. Darn it. Okay, let's go to level 10 and back to level 11 because I've already looked at this level, definitely, it's got holes in the floor. A new level 11, please. How weird is that? I'm guessing it must be the way in. Right, what are you? Metal coil. Seeing a lot down here at all. Let's hope that changes. However, digging through stuff like this is brilliant for data disks, so I'm not going to complain too much. Right, what have we got? Uh, still got that metal coil over there. Check for secret runes. Secret secrets. Piece five. No. Nope. No secret room. I don't think anyway. Uh, except for the secret room that's right there. Except for that secret room. of power stones and engines and no data disks at all which is the only thing I want to put down here anyway but okay better than nothing okay so we need to go all the way down for the way out <laughs> equatorial mount p3 just what I always wanted. Okay, it's starting to say that the way out is there. So I don't think we've got anything, unfortunately. How many data disks did we manage? Not many. Seven, okay. It's usually 10 to put together a piece of something. So, again, I'm just going to reset. Sadly, I can't just reset it. Because if I just do that, it just brings me back to the same level. So, what I have to do is go to 10. Reset, and then go back to 11. Um, But we are also running out of time anyway, so I'm going to leave the ruins for now. I got a little bit, I got a few data disks, I got some bits and pieces in general, like metal coil. I found the secret room, which was quite nice. I need to look for that more when I see that particular level. Because quite often if you jump right up the stairs, you find some good stuff. And we've gone past midnight. And Macchiato and Nemo are just running around like crazy, digging everything up. I bet everyone loves them so much. <laughs> well, since we're past midnight anyway, I'm just going to sit and open all my relics. So, firstly, let's make a bit of room. And 
let's go. So. Ship wheel. Toy axe. Toy scepter. Meowsus. Monuments. Sand Eagle 4. Sand Eagle 4! Yes! Monuments. Toy axe. Monuments. Sailor's Hall. Cross anchor. Golden candlestick. Grand theatre. Golden candlestick. Beast head. Sand Eagle 5. Beast head. Golden candlestick. Oz Duck dancing statue. So we got some pieces that were unique there. We got Monument 3. Meowsus 5. No, sorry. Monument 3, Sand Eagle 4, which we needed. Toy Axe 1. Monument Piece 1. Uh, Sand Eagle 5. Grand Theatre. Which seems to only come from Relic Bags. Um, cross Anchor Piece, which we actually have two pieces of already. Nice. So we've got two pieces of the Toy Axe Soldier, one piece of the Toy Scepter Soldier, and that's it. But the Toy Soldiers will be hard this time, aren't they? Monument, I'm only missing piece two. So next, every time Mr. Mysterious Man comes round, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to go through all of the relics um, with with. I'm gonna go for all the relics. I'm gonna buy all the relic bags. And eventually, hopefully, we'll get all the ones that are only in relic bags. I get some for giving uh giving loved items as well. So that's another way that I can get ones for free. So that's another reason to really go for it with giving them their loved items. But yeah, let's go to bed. And uh, I've got one piece of concealer left that I can use. Of course, tomorrow is a festival day. And you want to look your best for a festival day. But first, it's Jasmine's day out. Oh, I failed my, my part-time work. I never mind if I fail part-time work. I try my best. But there's always more, so it's fine. It's the winter solstice today. It doesn't start till 2. So we are going to go and see Trudy and Jasmine first. Oh my goodness, look at the mail today. Alright then, so from Jan. Valued employee, it is the, of the utmost importance that I remind you of this year's annual Commerce Guild Award Ceremony tomorrow at the Guild, obviously. You might be thinking there's no way I can win Workshop of the Year with that Yan guy on the field. Might as well stay at home. Well, attendance is mandatory. See you there or else. President Yan, Sandrock Commerce Guild. <laughs> I think I've won. I'll double check though. I haven't checked the board in a while. As promised, I have travelled throughout the free city selling our recipe. From the mysterious man, by the way. Good news and bad news. Good news is I sold the recipe a bunch. Bad news is some walnut groove chefs were able to taste it and guess the recipe. Well, I, it was good while it lasted. Here's your share of what I made on the road. Don't be discouraged, we'll find another way to make unique items. Mysterious man. I'm not discouraged. From Fang. Your dish was good, the same as when I was young. If possible, I will come to your workshop every Wednesday at 7am to pick up more. A few times, I will pay you. Every year on 21st of autumn, my mother will also want to taste it. What? His mother's gonna come? Wow. Um, that won't be for a while, but I'll probably still be playing at that point. Nice. Okay. City Hall. Okay, the winter solstice is a time to say farewell to the old. And howdy to the new. There are plenty of wonderful activities to take part in. Uh, two o'clock barbecue next to the Blue Moon Saloon stage. Uh, 7 o'clock bonfire dance and 10 o'clock fireworks and countdown to the new year. Sandrock City Hall. Amira. Uh, the mysterious man was true to his word and brought me a rare diagram from Walnut Groove for an electric kiln. I consider you to be the best builder in Sandrock. Will you please accept my commission to make one for me? Yes, I will. 
So he must have been he must have been here, look. So came back a week later. Pet dispatch results. Oh. Did I not have scrap today? Hmm. I might have to renew my contract. Let's water my plants quickly. And I'm not going to plant any more just now. But I'm going to go and see... Uh, 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 Trudy. But I think that's rather important that we get this done on time. And then we're going to do the winter festivities. That's the only thing I'm going to ask myself to do today. Because that's a busy, busy day. I always forget that Trudy is Jasmine's mom. Howdy. Have you come to spend the day with me and Jasmine? Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'll go get Jasmine now. Howdy. Yay! She lab you came. Ma and me are gonna have a super fun day. She's not even going to work. Uh well the city will be mad with you, Ma. Heidi gets real mad if I miss any lessons. Hmm. Don't worry, Jasmine, I won't get into trouble. On Heidi's kindly dealing with the city hall affairs today. She said I can take the day off and no one will mind. Oh. Wow, maybe I can ask Aunt Heidi to take my class for me while I go and play. <laughs> you can't do that, you have to study. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Studying is fun, Jasmine. If you study hard, you can grow up to be anything you want. Hmm. That's pretty cool, I guess. She allowed Ma said she's taking us to the moisture farm. Miss Dizit gave me a little garden. I've got loads of really cool stuff growing there. I'll show it to you. Uncle Owen said he'd teach me to cook what I've grown too. Mm. I'll go to the blue moon later. We can bring some of your plants to Owen and maybe we can eat some tonight. <laughs> really? Owen's the best. Uh, except you, Shelab. I'll wait to see what you've grown. Mm. Mr. Zeke says I'm a super good gardener and he doesn't even help me water the plants because he says that if someone else waters your plants, they get really unhappy. So I always go and water them after school. He says they get really happy and bloom when they see me. <laughs> okay, don't make Shelab too tired before we even get there. Come on, let's head to the moisture farm. Zeke will be waiting. Mr. Zeke, how's my garden doing? <laughs> hey, Jasmine, look at all your flowers. Sorry, look, all your flowers have woken up to see you. Oh. Wow, hey, Shelab, Mark, I'm looking at my garden. We've got potatoes, tomatoes, cantaloupes. I love cantaloupes. And broad beans. Oh, I got some desert rose and mountain horn too. But you can't eat those ones. I just think they're really pretty. Wow, you grew them all by yourself? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> That's right. She's been coming here every day and watering them. Most days I don't even have to remind her. Mm -hmm. I don't touch them. I, do, I want to make sure Jasmine knows the hard work you have to put in. <laughs> Zeke says I'm doing better than lots of grown-ups. Oh, Shelab, I want you to plant that one. I think we have raspberry, rose willow, or sand leek. Which one do you want? Rose willow is really pretty. Uh -huh. It is. I haven't grown this one before. Zeke says it's a little harder to grow than the others, but I think we can do it together. Mm -hmm. I think you're ready for it, Jasmine. Hmm. Mr. Zeke, do you have anything else we can play? Hmm. How about we cut some vegetables to bring to Owen? Uh. I don't want to clear out my garden, though. <laughs> don't worry, Jasmine. They'll all grow back soon. Then we can harvest them again. Uh -huh. Wow, okay. What should we pick, Ma? Hmm. Hmm. How about some broad beans, some potatoes, and some tomatoes? Uh -huh. Awesome selection. Do you think Uncle Owen can make something really delicious with that? <laughs> oh, I think that'll be no trouble for him. Sheilab, have you eaten Owen's cooking? Uh, All the time. Uh -huh. Wow, he's so good, right? Ma takes me to the Blue Moon to eat sometimes, and Uncle Owen always has something super tasty for us. Mm. Today's going to be one of our eat-out days, isn't it? Usually when I'm too tired to cook. Okay, let's go to the Blue Moon now. Owen told me he wants to cook you dinner. Uh-huh. Yes, and I can give him my vegetables to cook too. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to Zeke, Jasmine. See ya. Bye-bye, Mr. Zeke. Mm. Sheila, would you like to join us for dinner? Uh-huh. Yeah, come on, Sheila, please. Um, I'd love to go for dinner. <laughs> yes, let's go. Hello. Hey, Jasmine. How is the moisture farm? Your garden coming along well? Huh. Yeah, I've been growing loads of really neat stuff. And then I got Sheila to plant something in there too. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> we had a really nice day. We even brought some of the vegetables from Jasmine's garden for you. Oh. Oh, that's great. Let me see. Wow, these are really good. I haven't had vegetables as fresh as this in a while. Hmm. I think I'm going to make something delicious for you, Jasmine. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Say thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Jasmine. Hee 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 hee. Haha, well, you guys get a table. I'll go get your dinner ready. If this ends like with me missing the day, I'll be a bit annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. Hope you like it. Jasmine, your vegetables were great. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to eat it. Thank you. Thank you, Owen. We appreciate uh -huh. it. Anytime, Trudy. Nom nom nom. Hmm? Hmm? Ma, do you like mm. it? It's delicious, isn't it, honey? Hmm. She loved you. You like it? It's so good. Uh -huh. Yeah, Uncle Owen always makes super tasty food for us when we come here. <laughs> He's always so kind and makes our favourite dishes. I'm so glad you enjoyed your dinner, honey. Uh -huh. I was so full. I'm happy you're back from the desert, Ma, because now we can spend way more time together. Hmm. I'm sorry I left you, honey. Hmm. It's okay, Ma. You needed to save Sandrock. Everyone's super happy you're back. So I'm happy you're back too. Uh, can I go and play now? Mm. Of course you can, sweetie. <sighs> Must have been hard being away for so long. Mm. It was. I know I'm never going away again. Now that we've found the algae, we can work on making the future brighter right here. It's difficult being the mayor and a mother. On one hand, I need to give work... Sorry, I need to work to give a future to Jasmine. On the other hand, I need to be there for her. <sighs> Doing what's best for the town sometimes means falling short on being a mother. But being home for Jasmine sometimes feels like I'm not helping Sandrock. It's tough. All I can do is take it one day at a time and raise her to be the strong woman I know she will be. And with people like you and Heidi around her, I've no I I've no doubt she'll be anything she can dream of. Hmm. Ma, can Uncle Owen read me a story? He says he has a new one. Hmm. Of course, why don't you take a seat and invite Owen over? Hmm. Uncle Owen, come tell me your story. <laughs> All right, all right, so I've got a great story for you tonight, and I want Sheila here to help me tell it. Let's play along. Let's do a little improv. Yep. So, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a really clever little girl who wanted to be a journalist, because that's what Jasmine wants to be. Hmm. That's right, she wanted to be a journalist. She used to run around the town writing articles about everything she'd see. Oh. I want to be a journalist too. <laughs> what a coincidence. She'd write about the cat in the tree, she'd write about the lost puppy, she'd write about the newest dishes at the handsome man's saloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Owen. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not this time. This saloon owner was called uh, Hank, and he didn't cook quite as well as me. Uh huh. Anyway, one day our little hero came across... A baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little baby lost from its ma. Hmm. Oh. Our little hero scooped it up and brought it to the civil court to try and find its ma. The little baby's mom was so happy. She gave our little hero a hundred goals as a reward. Oh. Whoa, I want to save a baby. Um, I'm wondering if that was meant to be Jasmine's line. I'm not yep. sure there. So then our little hero went and celebrated with her friends. <laughs> Aha, well, I guess that's a good a time. Sorry, uh, that's a good a time as any. And then our little hero was so tired, so she fell into a lovely deep sleep. Thank you. That was a lovely story. Sheila, thank you too. I think I can take it from here. She's gone to sleep. I appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. It is still 8 o'clock in the morning though, so despite having done Jasmine's day out, we do still have all the Christmassy stuff to do. Winter festival, whatever you want to call it. So this is all of the barbecue stuff for later on. I don't know if I need to bring anything. I'll see. I'll see how it works. I guess. <laughs> but we've got a while until then, so I could work on a few commissions until then. I probably don't want to go down the mines because that is the easiest way for me to lose track of time. I'm a nightmare when it comes to that. So. It looks like Vivi's rice cakes are ready. I need to make one more just uh, for the thing I need to hand in. The uh, the table and everything. Um, Grace's daggers. I need to go and get the rest. Okay, let's, let's work on those. Let's work on those. And there was some canvas as well, wasn't there? that we needed to make. But I can only make one because I don't have enough jute. Ah, okay. Always with the jute. 
My problem is I'm not build I'm not uh, growing jute cantaloupe. And the reason I'm not growing jute cantaloupe is that uh, is that I need the seeds and I need data disks for the seeds. And I'm also every time I get the seeds I want to give them to Coco. So yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare at the moment. As soon as Coco is my pet, um, I'll probably then start giving the seeds to Sandy the Camels. <laughs> Yeah. Until I can find something else for Sandy the Camel. So anyway, um, I need to head to the moisture farm and get the jute. And then I'll head by the Commerce Guild and get the... Uh, get the recipe. And then I'll head out to the Fowler To get... I think it's the coarse leather that I need. That's what I'm missing on the daggers at the moment, so I'll just grab all 20 of those jutes. Then I want to head to the commerce guild, so we may as well just yak mallet back to my house. And then give the quest into Vivi, who stood right there. And also go to the commerce guild. And then head out to the Uvala. While giving the meerkat a gift of chromium. Double. Oh, it's double because it's a. Oh, thingy day. Everyone that I want to give something to, I need to give them, give it them now. Right, Sandy Camel. Um. other seeds do I have? Sand rice. I'll try it. Oh, that was terrible. There's a lot of things that I know that Sandy Camel doesn't like, though. Um, Coco. I feel like it's going to be a huge waste, though. I don't know. So yeah, we are back to the point where you get extra points on a festival day as well, which well, wasn't the case in early access either. So You're becoming quite the chef, aren't you? Can't wait to try this out. Anyone that I know likes a certain thing. Uh, I need to find X and Fang because ha having double for them would be amazing. They're all up by the graveyard. X is separate to Fang right now as well. Alright then, I'm going to go just uh, do what my original plan was and go into the Commerce Guild and then we'll see if we can find them. And there might be a few things that go on today that give everybody a bit of a bit of a boost. There's so much stuff now. Expensive stuff as well. A desert warrior stuff. Chromium sword and shield. And a sharp shooter pistol at the intermediate forging machine. Okay. I feel like a chromium sword and shield might be a really nice upgrade for me. But it's expensive. So I'm going to hold off for now. I will buy the chromium steel plate though. That might be quite a nice commission for me. I'm not going to buy any of the desert warrior stuff just now. Or any of the other weapons unless they're asked for for a commission. And I'll slowly build them up that way. So we're on to chromium gear now. Okay, another petrified wooden stick one. And a fish porridge one. Ten days to finish it. So I don't have to do it today. But that's all I'm taking. I'm not taking switchboards. No. Just no. 
I've had too many of the same quest over and over again. I don't have the... Uh, it means I use up all the stuff. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I forgot to do? Check that tomorrow I go to Thrash Yan in the yearly workshop stuff. Yeah, I'm nearly a thousand points ahead at the moment. It's still a little bit, still a little bit rough. He still is like really like coming up behind me. If I didn't do any commissions for a couple of days, that would be a problem. Um, can I find Banjo? That's the next question. Banjo Fang X. Not seeing him. There's Deputy Captain. I need to find the meerkats as well. They could be anywhere. Whereas I suppose I do. Ex I know where Fang and X are, so let's go and find them. Give them a present. Maybe I'll see Banjo or the meerkat on the way. The meerkat lives behind the graveyard, so... a chance you might be hanging out there. I think X literally just went and sat on Frank's shoulder. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, hello. Are you here to sweep the graves too? Hmm, one shouldn't assume. I thought you were young Fang's friend. Here to help him with the cleaning. That boy comes here every oh, weekend. Hardly ever says a word, that one. Really? Is that the same Arvio I know? Makes you wonder, but can't say I mind the company. Quiet as it may be. Oh, or is it just he's talking about Fang in general? Fang is, yeah, quiet. <laughs> well, if you're here, perhaps you could help young Fang. It's easier with help. And I'd hate to burden the boy further. He insists on coming every week. Perhaps out of sympathy for these aging bones of mine. Yes, yes, just give him a hand sweeping up. He might not say anything, but I know deep down he'll be thankful. Yeah, I'll help. Thank you, young one. When you're done, I'll treat you to a warm cup of tea. Carried off by a sandstorm. It's shiny. Oh, so shiny. Little X is here to help too? Well, you all are sweet. These old friends of mine are thankful. I'm sure their spirits will find her and tell her what a fine man you've become. Mm -hmm. Young Fang, would you like to come in for a cup of tea, perhaps? X. Would you like a carrot? Eggs like carrots. Would I? Carrot! Carrot! Well, there we are. We know now that eggs likes carrots. Have to go. Busy again, eh? As always. Well, another time, perhaps. Yeah, I think uh, tea is a bit much for Fang, probably. Wait, wait! Carrot! Come. That Fang, he comes to the cemetery every weekend. And he's never taken me up on the tea. Comes I every can't week? help but feel a bit slighted. Every Without week? fail. It's like those old tombstones are uh, the only ones with whom he can reciprocate. Spoken through silence. Few alive could see through the pain behind those eyes. <sighs> mm, that boy's something. Uh, what do they call it? Like the son of a poet. 
Some folks take to trouble like water off a duck's back. <laughs> Rolls right off. But not one like that. Some folks, it sticks with you. When he arrived here, he buried some things, then made a simple grave marker. I must say, I wasn't proud to pry, but I asked and asked. He wouldn't say who it was that he was mourning. And though he never answered, he took notice of these old bones. He started bringing me his medicine. He saw my back was ailing me. How could a thoughtful boy like that be truly cold all the way through? It's not cold at all, he's just quiet. Some of his story I did learn by listening to the chirpings of that bird of his. Its mimicry can be a window into the past. Yeah, I have a strong suspicion that X, when he does his sort of more feminine sounding voice, instead of his more like hoarse crow-like voice, that he's mimicking things that Fang's mother said to him. When he was young, his mother fell terribly ill. They couldn't afford treatment, so the poor thing could do nothing but watch his mother slowly pass. After that, he didn't speak for years. Perhaps that's why he struggles. That's why he go went into medicine probably as well, didn't want to see anybody else go through the same. That's all I could ascertain, though perhaps I've just grown hard of hearing. His mother was a bird breeder before her death. Oh, well, maybe it was a bird tamer. Hmm. These details amount to little. So X was probably tamed by uh, Fang's mother. And that's why X is looked after by Fang. And why Fang was so worried when Fang got kidnapped. Wow. Okay. Wow. Perhaps if you're lucky, one day he'll tell you himself. Thanks for your help. I'm sure both he and I appreciate it. Wow, that was such a cool quest and I loved it. Um, meerkats around, I saw him. Oh, it was before that started. Okay. That's fine. I'm just thinking if I could catch the meerkat somewhere, wherever he's gone. Maybe he's on his way into town or something. I might catch him on the way down. Um, if I can catch the meerkat today, I could probably get a double, maybe 18 points or so. But we'll do the barbecue first. So let's head to a grill and see if I can do anything cool on there. Cook all the townsfolk's favourite food. Once you approach the grill, choose the ingredients you want to skewer. One skewer can hold up to four squares of ingredients, each with ingredient taking a different number of squares. Okay. Don't forget to add seasoning. Make sure you pay attention to what the people in town want and season according to taste. Once you've prepared the ingredients and seasoning, it's time to start grilling. Press and hold the corresponding button to keep control speed of the skewer. Keep an eye on the meter. Stay in the green. Spin it too fast, it won't cook. Too slow, it will burn. Okay. I'm guessing they want original seasoning then. So let's try rib. So I guess that that takes the full thing with original seasoning. And then maybe salted fish. On to number two. Maybe egg and oh, hang on. Maybe egg and mushroom on one. Maybe potato and meat on one. Sweet potato on one. And dried Santa Cuda on one. Salty seasoning. It says take note of what the townsfolk want, but... Ah well, I'll just make it up. It's cool.
And then it's barbecue. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep it in the green. They are perfect. Oh, X is over there. So they can go get my barbecue stuff. I'm gonna go see X. Hello, dude. Would you like a present? Would you like some gold? I love it. I love it. There you go. Pebbles. Would you like um a chromium bar? I like that. You can give it to your mommy, yeah, that's right. Rocky, would oh. you like a chromium bar? Hey, thank you. Mm, I kind of like it. Expensive for them not to like it that much. Oh, actually, let's see if they've like, got anything to say about what they like. Uh huh. A year has passed. Phew, got a whole lot done, didn't we? Oh no, I don't have any wishes. I just want everyone to be safe and sound. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. There you are. Meat and tomato brisket. What are people saying about... Eh? You've got a good plan for your workshop next, next year, newbie. I expect a higher output with minimal complaints. I don't... I don't... It's like... Pay attention to what they like, and I'm like, I have no idea. I'm just gonna put salt on everything this time. what they all say. I've been too busy giving gifts, but I will see what they all say. Crystal! I'll gift you some... Iron ore. I'm gonna give this to Rocky. He's always breaking stuff. He won't say it himself, but man, my man's wicked clumsy. Thanks. Hugo, do you like hey chromium there. bars? I bet you do. For me, thanks. Oh yeah. You made this yourself. You've got quite a hand. Maybe I could take you on as an apprentice. Ha! I'm kidding. Keep on with your building, builder. That was really good. Birdy boy. Let's see if water would be good for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm going to put this right back in the water tower and it can sit there nice and safely with the rest. Can't believe you're this dedicated to the cause. <laughs> that was brilliant. Justice would probably like some kind of weapon or something, but... I might give him a bullet. Let's see if a bullet will work. Thank you. I was running low on bullets. Hadn't had the time to restock. Didn't work very well. Hmm. My birth is the 18th of winter. I try to be good, so maybe one day I'll get that pony I've been asking for. <laughs> Got anything sweet for her or anything like that? Um. No. Do you like opals? Let's try. Whoa, another gift? Thanks. Wow, she likes it. So shiny, big fan of shiny stuff I am. You got this out of the ground, that's crazy. Aunt Heidi says, we need to make sure we're protecting the earth. But we can get all these super cool things out of it still. Hello, did you get my letter? I know as well as anyone that you shouldn't rush art, but I would like to use my new kiln as soon as possible. I've had a lot of time to think about what to make first. Hey, tradesmen don't work on Christmas, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna try and give you a gift. I want to see if 
Group relationship five. Festival plus ten. Nice. Um, have I got any lapis or anything like that around? No. Hmm. Let's see if she likes. Let's see if she likes no. Thanks. They're really beautiful. I have designs that can make use of this actually. Some potters don't like using gems in their works, but I think if they use tastefully, they can elevate the work quite substantially. So she likes gems. Nice. It's quite a good um, universal thing, isn't it? That. Mian. Nope, Mian. I'm going to give you my last piece of chromium ore. Thanks, I love Ooh, it. Ooh, this is good. Okay. Your salvaging is getting so good. This is the kind of materials that can really push my building to the next level. Thanks. Arvio, I'm going to give I you gold. I can't wait to see how this new electric kiln works. I'm sure Hammy will be raking it in soon. I'm getting some really, really good friendship points here. I think Arvio might enjoy oh, gold. Thank you. This is so rare. Are you sure you don't need it? You're just so thoughtful. I know. So thoughtful. I already gave Pebbles something. Should have given Pebbles some gold as well. Gold and opals seem to be amazing. Katori, I bet, would like gold. Howdy. I bet she would. Oh, thank you. What a fine gift. I can feel your heart was in the right place. Yeah, I think I think that was a good round of stuff. Gift giving. Bonfire dance in a minute. Bonfire dance never made it into early access. So I'm really interested in what that's going to be like. So basically going to spend the rest of the day. I mean, I did my Jasmine quest, so I'm really happy that that got done. And um, I'm going to be quite happy to do this festival as well. Are they still eating my stuff? Is it all gone? Oh, I should have made some more, really. more points of people. Because I'm all about the social points. And if we can have like a happy new year and everybody gives me points for that as well, that'd be amazing. I'm gonna need to find something really good for um and maybe we did do the dance, actually. I think I remember doing it. Dancing around the bonfire with all my friends. That's one thing that we don't really do any more... I don't see as much anyway. Um, on the 5th of November, you always used to have fireworks night, but it would be bonfire night. As well as fireworks. Now it tends to just be fireworks. You don't see nearly as many bonfires. So, I, I guess... I guess that's kind of like... Safety related? Maybe? I don't know, really. I don't know why that would be. I know that like sometimes um, it's hard to make sure that if there's a really big bonfire that your hedgehogs and things like that are not in there. I'm going to keep dancing because the more people that are dancing, the more relationship I'm getting. Relationship is important. Go on, dance, Birdie boy, dance. 
Burgess is dancing. Jasmine is apparently dancing somewhere over there too. The fireworks are going to happen in a minute, but... Next time I do this, I need to make sure that my barbecue food doesn't run out as much. But it's been a great day for getting relationship points with people. I've had some really high boosts. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, the fireworks have started, so I'm just going to finish dancing now. That was really good. And we can watch the fireworks before bedtime. I already gave you a present. Okay, cool. That meerkat must nearly be my friend now, surely. Gotta be so close. I'm not gonna look now, I'm going to watch the fireworks coming in. This one's coming in over the town. Oh, that's so pretty. I could have been dancing around the bonfire this whole time. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. I am wondering, can I take a selfie with all the fireworks going on? <laughs> I love it! Save! I think they're done now. That was so good. Oh, I'm gonna need concealer tomorrow again. Oh, full night partying. <laughs> Why am I not allowed any of these skewers? Here comes the new year. Happy new year. Today I got up early and cleaned my workshop top to bottom. New year, new me. <laughs> so I can chat to people probably all day tomorrow about how they feel about the new year. <laughs> Claude has nothing to say. Justice, what do you have to say about the new year? Mm -hmm. You never know if it's fireworks or a rocket rooster attack, so me and Unsure have got to keep an eye out. Even on winter solstice, we've got to keep an eye on safety. So long, partner. Okay, you're fine. you seeing you. <laughs> Come on, Goel, he's dancing. That's hilarious. Cold cactus despair. No. Hmm. I'm going to give you Rose Willow. Thanks. Oh. 
I never managed to get it right with Miguel. I'll give you an opal as well. Thanks a lot. I'll have to go and get some more opals next time. I never saw Banjo like the whole time. But it's fine. I will fight I mean, cats are kind of scared of fireworks anyway. I think everyone's heading home now, so I think I'm going to do the same. That was an awesome New Year's. We did really, really well. Um, since we've got a little bit of time left, I'm going to quickly look at my socials and see how that affected everybody. Yeah, Mian definitely went up a bit. Arvio is really getting close to being a friend now. I haven't seen hide nor hair of Elsie in ages. She's around at the moment. Uh, X is very nearly my friend as well. Fang is doing great. We even got a bit of extra friendship with Mort. And Mort was a really difficult one to get um, up in friendship last time. But seems to be involving himself in stuff with Fang a lot. So I'm really benefiting from that for both of them. Um, Matilda is already my buddy. Gatori is my buddy now. Miguel is my buddy. Grace is my buddy. Yan is my buddy. Crystal. Crystal is somewhere between the meerkat and Yan. So is very close to being my buddy. But meerkat is next after that. So probably two or three more gifts. And the meerkat will be my pet. Which will be amazing. And Banjo is a little bit further behind than that. Even Coco is starting to do okay now though. Just got to keep working on it. These guys, just no. Deputy Captain, though, once I've not got all the other cats to worry about, we'll be getting all the opals and all the fish. So I'm hoping that Captain and Sandy will be the only two left once all the others are my pets. So I think we can, we can work with that. That's fine. But that's not bad for the end of just like... Well, it is not even the end of year one. The end of the third season. I don't think I'm doing badly at all. So, uh, I'm going to go to sleep now. End the episode. That was a fantastic New Year's episode. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed taking Jasmine out for her day out as well. So, if you enjoyed it too, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>